So what are we doing on Do Something Every Day today? Today on Do Something Every Day, we're going to be putting together this Pack and Play by Brico. First thing we gotta do is open up the box. Oh, it's a mess of parts. So now that we have the largest part out of the box, I think we just have to take the Velcro straps off. Look, Andrew, instruction. Where? Ha ha. You're funny. Okay. Did you really not see them? I have special eyes. See what? The instructions? No. They're on the side of the... Where you on Velcro? We got it. Oh yeah, we don't got it. And you might need to stand up. That might really help. I hate standing up. I know. I hear a lot of clicking, so I yeah. think that's good. Things are locking. Oh. And you gotta push the bottom down to lock the legs in place at the bottom. Oh my god. Andrew. Is it working? Andrew. I think I got it. You might have to twist it. I don't got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Andrew is currently in jail. Do not pass go! Do not collect $200! What a shame. The idea was bad. You should feel bad. Okay, so once all the top pieces here are locked, they will click into place. Push down. Ta-da! Ta-da! So they call this the play yard part, and it is now complete. This is the pad that can either go in the bottom or in the bassinet top, which is what we will be using it, which we will be putting together next. This is the carrying case for when you want to disassemble the pack and play. You pull that red thing up, unclick the sides, wrap it in this over here, the pad, and slide it in here. Next we need to install the bassinet portion of the pack and play. You'll see these two metal rods, one here, one here, they snap together, and next you take these clips and line them up with the edges, and they simply press on over top, like so, like so. Over and do the other end, one, two, one, two. And if you'll notice, down here at the bottom, this little zippered section means now you can get to these bins that are part of the top part. And you actually can buy thicker mattresses if you plan on using the pack play as your crib if you have small areas. Um, there you go. Cool. That looks comfortable. Rory liked it. So for the next part, we're going to need the changing pad itself, these two pins, these two clips, and these two rod assemblies. And I believe we're going to be passing them through the side of the mesh. There seems to be a larger side and a smaller side, so my guess is larger side goes through the bigger hole <laughs> of them. Oops. Now we'll do the other side. In a similar fashion, find the hole in which to pass the loop through. Okay. They have a problem. Don't fit together. Is one of them backwards or upside down? Yes. <laughs> Our question is. Which one, Megan? No. Mm. I can only... well... <laughs> <laughs> we say that now. Little brown eel comes out of the cave, swims into the hole. Okay, so... That looks a little better on that end. So let's get this end in first. He said ambitiously. 
Same thing with the detents again. You can check out our previous episode to see how these pieces work. So now that we have the one side in, let's pull this one apart. Oh. <laughs> A smidge too far. Hey, Fatty, I got a movie for you. A fridge too far. <laughs> okay, new plan. First, we get it back apart. It might have to do with the order of things. So, now that I have them disconnected, I should have more room to slide it in first. There we go. There we go. We got this, man. Why is it always my fingers? So, it turns out that we did it wrong. Flip it back over. My wife was wondering about these parts. They have to go in between here. So, let's try to get it all apart now. Okay. Okay. No K. Uh-oh. No K? Is that what she said? Uh-oh. Like, no, not okay? Yeah, no K. Hmm. What do we need? Superhuman finger strength? We will need a pen to get this out now. Okay. So, now that we were able to push the detent pin back in, using a pen. Now this piece on here, and it looks like it wants to be facing curve in. So, first thing we're going to do is push the detent back in, push the two legs together, then push this over top of the detent pin, thus allowing it to mm, lock sit inside. In place. Yep, locks in place. So we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're just gonna try to not screw it up. Try. That's always the key word. <laughs> okay. So we separate the two pieces, but this time we're going to put it on the correct side. Nope, nope, almost did it wrong. <laughs> Pull that up. Slide this one over top. Pull this back through. Should hear a satisfying click. Nope. Come on, satisfying click. Well, that wasn't satisfying at all. There we go. <laughs> That's a satisfying click. Okay, now that we have these two pieces, these two Lego looking hands coming in, we can slide in these other pins. And same thing with the detent. You would think. No, maybe I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. There we go. Same thing on this side. Greco loves satisfying clicks. Let's listen for it. Oh, nice. So sweet. Okay. So where does that go? It's a little hard. Next, we're going to take this. We're gonna slide it into these receivers. One on each end? Yep, yeah, one on each end. And then we're gonna take the Lego arms. Woohoo, Lego arms. Snap them in place. So we wanna make sure that these, we wanna make sure that these are engaged so that it can't come back out. That way it can't fall out of itself. And the changing pad holds up to 30 pounds. It's a big baby. <laughs> Next we will be assembling the Cuddle Cove. What you want to do is make sure that this button is facing away from the connection. What you do is you slide it in, just like everything else, and wait for it. Satisfying click. <laughs> and we're going to do the same thing with the other side. Satisfying click. Then we will attach the other hand with the electronics facing I think outwards. It's out. Yeah. That's 
that's because the electronics that make the pack and play vibrate can also make the cuddle cove vibrate and they're interchangeable. Do we hear a double satisfying click? It's That's all pretty clear. satisfying. Okay, what's next? Why you gotta be so difficult? Uh, excuse me. So now that we know that we were doing it completely wrong, we can do it right. So we need to slide both feet into the entire assembly and up and over everything else. So it slides over it just like a trash bag slides over an old dead Christmas tree, I guess. All I can think about is, let's say that I'm like that young kid, you know, and it's my first kid and first baby, and it's the middle of the night, right? And somebody got me this and it was so thoughtful. But here I am, struggling like an idiot to put it together. I mean, why couldn't it have been simpler? Why does it have to be so difficult? This isn't the biggest bag over the head punch in the face I ever got. got. Here's a tip. If you're going to buy somebody a gift like this, put it together for them and send them this video. They'll thank you. But you bought this for me. <laughs> so you're saying I am doing it. <laughs> yes, you are. Press and snap as shown. Come on in here, viewer audience. So, as you can see, from this side, there are snaps that need to attach to the bottom. One. Come on, snap number two. It was on. Ah, there we go. Okay. Okay. What about on the other side? What about on the other side? I was wondering. Oh, the bottom goes together. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> hey, we're learning at the same speed you are, viewer at home. Anonymous, creepy viewer who watches everything I do in my life now. Like a creepy stalker. But maybe they're I creepy. appreciate the creepy stalkers. Maybe they're creepy. Don't stalk me. <laughs> maybe they're creepy attractive stalkers, you know. Like Rory, when he sings to you and pets your head in the middle of the morning. Mm, he does do that. So it looks like more of the same on this side. Get the snaps to snap snappy, snap snap. So you have to fold it down quite a lot. Look at that. B-E-A beautiful. Oh, there's more? Why is there always more? I'm guessing it goes over here. Towards the head. Uh-oh, real sneeze. <coughs> Yes, he does sneeze like that on a daily basis. Something like disease. Ouch. The fingers, everyone. The fingers. The struggle is real. If he has all ten fingers when we are done putting all the baby stuff together, he will be very happy. There are two Velcro straps in the back. And two. Is that how it's supposed to work? Okay. Yay. There's your little baby holder thingy. So it looks like you can grab these two handles. So that's nice. Yeah, it snaps in. I didn't even know it snapped in. Did it really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> nice. It looks a little funny, but that's because it's not used yet. <laughs> I always think it's nice when I get to be buckled in when I go to sleep. You know, you're in for a wild ride. <laughs> Good job. 
Okay, I think we're done. Thank <gasps> thanks for watching Do Something Every Day. We'll see you on the next episode. Be sure to like and subscribe.